Good, how are you? Um, I will do a large waffle fry with ketchup. And right, um, medium? a large fry, please. All right, I feel like we are in the point during like this daily vlogging journey where I could just be a hundred. I, I am not having a good day. <laughs> Like I thought it would just resolve itself and so far it has not. And I'm realizing as it is 5.45 p.m. that I also have not eaten breakfast. What am I saying? It's 5.45 p.m. and the only thing I've had today is breakfast. So I might just be hangry, you know? So I done pulled up to Chick-fil-A to get me some french fries and a drink. And bless that baby that was taking my order because I kept trying to ask her if they had a seasonal Sunjoy. A while ago, I was able to get like a watermelon mint one, but I, anyway, I was thinking that they might've had something fun around this time of year and the lights wasn't on. So I was just like, give me a regular Sunjoy and I'm gonna make some shake. I also left the house with three of those cookies because I just, I need something. I need something to help lift my mood and lift my spirits and should I be eating my feelings? Or should any of us, honestly, be eating our feelings? Probably not, but that's what I'm gonna do tonight, okay? We're about to go to an, one of the outlets because I still have that Banana Republic jacket in my trunk that I need to just get out of there. And then I also want to poke around and see what I can see because my Christmas shopping is not done. Can I even say it started? I mean, kind of, but like barely, so. <sighs> That's what we're gonna do tonight. You're gonna spend the night with me bopping around an outlet and we are about to see what we can see and maybe grab a Christmas gift. Ooh, you know what? Also, I was looking, let me turn this, cause it's getting dark. <laughs> I was looking at the Banana Republic factory website either last night or like really early this morning and the jacket that I have in gray, they have it in green. And I know I was like, nah, I'm gonna take it back because I don't like the fit but just like the other coat, I didn't really like the fit and it could have everything to do with the fact that I didn't have real clothes on. So if they still have it in my size, I would like to try on the green one in store and make a decision at that point whether or not it's gonna be a legitimate return or an exchange. While I'm in this line, oh my gosh, I've been talking for three and a half minutes. I'm so sorry. I guess I'll taste one of these cookies. This is the matcha cookie. This is a snickerdoodle cookie. I don't remember what this cookie is, but I will have the name on the screen somewhere. Mm. this tastes like a regular shortbread cookie to me like it's there's obviously matcha in here because it's green but i don't taste no matcha in here okay well that's fine it's still a good cookie i ain't hating i just don't taste no matcha janetta thank you so much you too Oh, to add insult to Angelina, girl, don't put Joanna down as my name. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm about to enjoy my little Chick-fil-A and we'll catch up at the outlets. You should have given me a straw? Like, oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, Monday. Don't do me like this. Do I have a straw in here? I know I'm not about to lose it over not having a straw, am I? I'm not. We just gonna drink it out of the cup. This is the green, but I think it looks weird. And it's also a size large, and I would never be able to fit this, so. That is a wash. So it's not really going all that great for me. Um, I walked into several stores and I was only able to buy something from one. These other stores are sold out of what I'm looking for, which is kind of a bummer, but also on me because I waited so late. So I'm gonna keep walking and see if there's like another couple stores that I can pop into real quick. Um, but this this might be a bust. This, well, no, not a bus because we got something, but I may not be coming up like I thought I was. <laughs> I am out here about to get blown away like any m and Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is it so empty? Low key, I am kind of finding it weird how there's not like more people at this outlet. Like I fully understand it's a Monday night, but also 
there's less than 10 days before Christmas. I can't be the only one out here panic shopping. Like, <laughs> it can't just be me. Like, there's people here, but like, it's not overrun with people like how it usually is. Weird. IDK. All right, it wasn't a complete bust. I was able to get a couple of things, but also I'm gonna have to come back in the next couple days because some of those stores were closing before nine. And there were a couple of those stores that I actually wanted to go into. Did I buy anything for myself? No, I almost did because I was in the shoe store and they were having a promotion of like buy one, get the second 70% off. And I was like, girl, you are not out here for you. But should you come across a pair of shoes for somebody else, feel free to treat yourself. And the shoes that I picked would have been $26, but they didn't have a size in other ones. So I didn't get them. But what I did get myself was some Sour Punch straws because I don't really have like a full appetite. I'm more thirsty than anything. But I'm just gonna eat a couple of these. I'm just waiting for the car. Ooh, the car's already heated up, it's time to go. I'm just gonna eat a couple of these on the way home. And that is gonna be my money. Ooh, this is good. Mm. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna eat a couple of these on my way home, and that is going to be Monday. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. Uh, am I feeling any better than I was yesterday? I think so. I'm not entirely 100% sure, which sounds weird, but like, I don't feel like overly happy excited and I don't feel like irritated annoyed and irked either so I'm treading the middle of the road here but I'm about to get ready for the day and by get ready I just mean I'm about to wash my face because I've already brushed my teeth before I started laundry which you can probably hear but I have a sweatshirt drying over my door so I can't close the door um also, this little black dot is actually this mask. It's the active charcoal mask from Origins. And I put it on there last night because like this situation, like I have not had a bump in the crease of my nose in so long, but this bump was large and in charge. And I feel like from when I noticed it to the time I went to bed, it, it grew. So I'm probably going to have to um, deflate, if you will, but I put the mask on it last night just to see if it would help like reduce the size or start drying it up or whatnot. Oh my gosh, it's so big, ew. Okay, this is TMI, but for anybody who's curious, um, uh, jump scare because I'm about to show you what it looks like. Do you see this creature on my nose? Nope. That's an absolute no for me. I'm not telling you to do this, but what I do on the rare occasion that I actually get a real pimple versus like what I get, which is traditionally cystic acne, I will go in with a sewing needle and I will try to find the center of it, give it a prick and a light squeeze to kind of like release the pressure. Now, what I need to do is find some alcohol real quick. And I'm gonna pour alcohol on this needle first because it's just been sitting in there with my hair ties, which obviously have like hair oils and stuff on them and I don't wanna infect anything. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know if you even care to see what I'm doing, but I'm going in. Okay, that's it. And what I do then is I take two Q-tips and I just go as far away from them as possible and start applying pressure because I don't wanna squeeze directly on it because that will aggravate it even more. Oh my gosh, this is so disgusting. I would love to know what was the cause. This is what it looks like now. Um, still gross, right? Yeah, I agree. So. I'm just gonna wash my face with this CeraVe. And I didn't push hard enough to like draw blood. Like once you draw blood, you have pushed entirely too hard. And probably go in, uh, probably with Neosporin if I'm being honest with you because it's looking like an open wound and I need it to not. So that, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, we're gonna regroup in the kitchen because I just feel like this was a lot for a Tuesday morning that nobody actually asked for. <laughs> I'm 
tripping. I got some Tennessee pride. of these juices left so I'm going to have one alongside my breakfast but today we're gonna bougie it up a little bit I found a set of two of these coops at Target isn't this a vibe green juice from a coop unfortunately this is the one that tastes like leaves oh the last two I have are the really good ones though I think we're gonna leave the house today I need to go to Michael's and I'm trying to think if there's anywhere. Yes, I need to go to Michael's and I also need to make a return at UPS because I tried to do it yesterday, full disclosure, but the line was out the door. So I'm gonna try a different one that's in like a less popular area because I just need to drop it off. Um, it already has a label on it and all I want is a receipt. Also, these rolled eggs because I wanna make some tuna. Probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it today because I feel like I have a leftover. I do, I have leftovers in the fridge that I need to eat for lunch today. So that tuna will probably be for tomorrow. Anyway, let me go to work. <laughs> One o'clock came pretty quickly, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> I'm about to turn on this TV and crank up some holiday tunes because I just feel like I need to hear something outside of my space heater and whoever keeps driving in front of this windows who is bumping and thumping. Like I just don't have the capacity for that today. Let's see, I actually have a meeting coming up pretty soon. Let me, let me see if I have time to play music with lyrics cause I be singing. <laughs> and I be working slow when I'm singing. Okay, it's 126 and I have a meeting at 2.30 so it looks like I'm gonna take a break at three because like, what is the point now? I'm just gonna be rushing on my way back. I'm also about to take myself a candy cane off this tree. Let me get one from the back though. <laughs> so you can't tell. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let this play. I get back to work, have that meeting, and then we gonna dip. Then we gonna dip, y'all. And if they say yeah, then that makes it easy for you because you'd only have to like open the project, look at expenditure details. Yeah, remember when I said that I was gonna take a break after that meeting with my manager? Mm -mm. I did not, I definitely did not. Um, I just decided to go ahead and push through because I ended up having some things that I wanted to get done and like make sure that I got done before I locked out for the day because today is actually the very last day that I'm working for the year of our Lord 2023. And I am so excited. I literally, oh my gosh, my brain needs a rest so bad. Um, so yeah, I just decided to work all the way through because I wasn't sure how much time I was gonna need to finish the things that I needed to get done and plus the things that I wanted to get done before leaving for um, holiday break. So I've surprised myself and I finished like 15 minutes earlier than I was originally planning because I was thinking I was gonna have to work late. And to my surprise, I don't even have to. So I'm about to shut down this desk and shut down this computer like all the way. I'm putting this mouse up. I'm shutting down Oracle cause I don't need it. I'm not gonna need it for, for days and days and days at this point. But I will say that it's not like I just get to rest tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> like the potato days are coming, but not quite yet because I need to close all of this. Yeah, potato days are coming, but not quite yet because as you saw, I pretty much just started Christmas shopping yesterday. So I'm gonna give myself Wednesday, Thursday, and possibly Friday to get everything wrapped up. Um, and not necessarily wrapped, but like to get all of my Christmas shopping done because you know, at this point, I'm just bouncing store to store. And what I may end up doing is, you know, looking online to see if there's anything that's in store that I could just pick up, but I'm looking for very specific things. So 
um, it, what I'm saying is, is that it may just require me to put my foot to the pavement. So um, I'm gonna log out now, shut down this computer, and then change my clothes and just put on something that's not pajamas because we're going back to, why is, why is the same working? Yeah, and change my clothes because we are going back to the Kris Kringle market for what we're hoping is dinner because the last time that we went, they did not have any of the cinnamon sugar pretzels and that did not go over well. And not only that, the, sorry, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to shut down everything. Um, yeah, they did not have, first of all, the lady said that they ran out of cinnamon sugar. Like they had the pretzels, but not the cinnamon sugar. That did not go over well. And not only that, I ordered a brat with sauerkraut and um, my brat was warm and my bun was cold. So that left a lot to be desired. What we're hoping is that when we get there today that they're burning, you know what I mean? We got fresh brats on the grill and we have cinnamon pretzels. I might even treat myself to an apple cider because I have not had one this season yet. <laughs> this from Bucky's the other day well last weekend really because we stopped on our way back in town but I felt like I just wanted a mirror for my makeup bag that was smaller now how does this work not an off button but where oh at the top oh this is a nice addition to my makeup bag love this okay well I'm not gonna do a whole lot because we're still nursing this situation here, which by the way, I don't know if you can see it, but it is looking a little bit better. Uh, that Neosporin definitely helps. So I'm gonna put some more on that tonight, but I'm thinking just eyebrows, maybe some mascara and some lotion on my face because it's looking ashy <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Good morning, munchkins. It is Wednesday, I believe. Is today Wednesday? Yes, today is Wednesday. Um, it's 9.33 in the morning and I am still in the bed, okay? Uh, I've already been up for a couple of hours though. I started my morning with editing because I'm trying to capitalize on the fact that I'm not working my nine to five the rest of this week and really like for the rest of the year, but I'm trying to get myself caught up on these vlogs slash vlogmas that I've been filming. So right now I'm editing the video from the weekend of December 9th and 10th. And then after that, I have two more vlogs before you'll even see this one. So I'm just, I'm trying to be mindful that even though I'm not working my nine to five, I still need to be on my editing game. You know what I mean? But now I think I'm about to get up and fix myself something to eat for breakfast and maybe get ready for the day because I do have lunch plans around 12 o'clock and I needed to go to the mall and run into Michael's. I may be able to scoot through Kohl's today. I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm literally just trying to avoid the times where people are most likely to be in the store because I just find crowded stores to just be overwhelming for me. So yeah, uh, let's get this show on the road and um, find some food. This is precisely what happens when I'm allowed to follow the beat of my own dang drum. Let me tell you about the breakfast that never got made. And this is exactly what happened. I went to the bathroom to like get myself together for the morning, put my hair in Bantu knots. I went back to my room to address all of that laundry. Not only did I do that, but I saw some clothes in the closet that I was like, oh, these are short sleeves. I should put them away. So. I vacuum sealed those, I made the bed, I started watching The Crown, and now we're here. It's 11.15 and I need to be gone in 30 minutes. Look at me. <laughs> Where I'm trying to go in 30 minutes. So, least I could do for myself is pour myself some of this juice. This is the defense up one. So I'm going to drink this and then like make a miracle happen because like for real, I need to be out of here in 30 minutes. Why am I like this?
What a waste. <laughs> Didn't do a thing. Didn't do a thing. That's fine. Lego. This parking lot is packed like the club and I don't even want to go in. Oh my gosh. Like why, why y'all ain't at work? I mean, I know why I'm not at work, but why y'all ain't at work? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. I was about to say I'm starting to feel like a parking spot don't exist, but <laughs> first of all, I need to return this candle. Yeah, I decided that it's a no. Mm -mm. It's just, it's smelling fake and I don't like it. So I'm going to return that, but I'm also going to just take a gander around to see if I can find some Christmas presents because technically this is only day two of me trying to shop for Christmas. And if I go up and down this mall, well, let me be real. I don't know how long I'm going to last in this mall because I don't really like big crowds. I don't like standing in long lines and judging by this parking lot. I mean, everybody may be just gathered in one specific spot. You know what I mean? Like it may be a lot of people kicking it in the food court. It may be a lot of people in the department stores. I, I won't know until I get in there. But if my patience doesn't allow me to stay for an extended amount of time, I'm going to abandon this and go to Kohl's and then maybe revisit the mall in another day or not another day, but like revisit the mall tomorrow, but come like super early, like 10, because right now it's 145. So if they were working a half day, they're here. If they're trying to shop on their lunch break, they're here. And I just don't know how well that's going to work out for me. So let's try though. Let's try. Also, before I go in here, <gasps> I forgot my loops oh no okay yeah i don't know how long i'm gonna last in here perfect um let's ride into the sunset i guess yeah it's it's a no for me dog i tried i was in the mall for maybe 25 minutes mainly just walking to the department stores i went to express which is not a department store, but I walked in there because I was looking for something. And then I went into Macy's and this Macy's is the most confusing because they don't even have the signs next to the escalators to tell you what floor certain stuff was on. And then you have to get through Perfume Alley in both the women's and the men's section. And not only that, you have to get through the individual people just selling things throughout the mall. And on top of that, you've got music blasting to the yonders. Like, I had to go. <laughs> I had to go because I looked in my purse and I didn't have any earplugs or headphones. So like all of that was just entering into my ears and jumbling up my brain. I, I had to ride. So now I think what I'm gonna do is make a beeline to Kohl's. Um, I'm trying to think if I should stop at Michael's first or yeah, I think I'm going to stop at Michael's first and then go to Kohl's because they're kind of in that order. Even though Michael's is slick out the way, it's fine. Uh, it's a craft store. So, you know, by design, it should not be as crowded as the mall. That's what I'm going to hope. And then Kohl's, you know, people be sleeping on Kohl's and I go to Kohl's every holiday season and I have yet to be in Kohl's and it just be popping except for after Christmas because people are trying to make returns but yeah I think that's the plan Woo chow, and I'm thirsty I need something to drink I will do a large diet lemonade light ice please no surprise we're back in the chick-fil-a drive-thru um I need something to drink before I take my sir um yeah thank you Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, no surprise that we're back in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. I need something to drink before I take my behind to Kohl's because I haven't had anything to drink since lunch and that was like four hours ago now. So I'm gonna grab something to drink and then go on to Kohl's. Michael's was a success. I mean, they had wrapping paper on sale for $2.99 per roll. Like, excuse me? So I helped myself to three rolls because for the life of me, I can't remember how many rolls I got shoved in the closet. I was able to buy a Christmas gift and then I was about to go into the Dollar Tree. Well, not even scratch that. I parked the car 
walked into Dollar Tree, saw the line, and let out a very audible, nah. <laughs> I turned around and I left. No siree, Bob, that line was too long and they only had one checkout person. And I'm like, do I need these gift boxes right now? Nope, I don't. So, oh, I also stopped by the house and I got my headphones and my earplugs because I was in Michael's and it was so incredibly loud. I was in the mall earlier and it was loud, like the music loud for no reason. And I was on the phone and these ladies overheard me talking about how loud it was. And I was like, it's not just me, right? They were like, no, it's a lot. Tone it down, retail stores, tone it down. Like you could play the little, it used to be elevator music and the elevator music only played merely just loud enough for you to hear it and you know, bop to a beat or two. Like they having concerts in the stores now. I said all that to say, uh, I'm not quite done and or ready to go home yet. I'm still in pretty high spirits, so I'm gonna scoot on over to Kohl's, see what they got, and then I'm gonna go home. I think Kohl's is gonna be my last stop today because while I've been in the car, I think I've determined that tomorrow's Christmas shopping or attempt at Christmas shopping is definitely gonna happen earlier. I'm gonna have to peel myself out of the bed and get out the house to be at the stores at 10 a.m. Like this noon and after shopping it ain't for me dog it ain't for me this is what i'm talking about you all you gotta oh wait a minute martinelli's rose what for several hours. I feel like that deserves a little bit of a haul situation. I'm not gonna show any Christmas presents that I got, but anything that was not Christmas present related is fair game. Um, what am I gonna start with? Well, I didn't really go to that many places. Okay, let's start with Dollar Tree. I completely abandoned the first one because that line was too long, but I went to the second one and there was still a line, but it wasn't as long. So I picked up four sets of gift boxes. And I probably won't use all of them this holiday season, but it'll give me a head start for next year. Then I took a gander down their snack aisle because I was thinking about doing like a Christmas movie night situation without me having to do so much work. You know what I mean? So I passed this um, popcorn and thought it looked good. It's called Peppermint Crunch Drizzled Popcorn. That like sounds really good. It doesn't say, well, it says drizzled with sweet white and dark frosting. And I'm assuming these are like peppermint pieces. It says no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial colors or flavors and made with cane sugar and sea salt. So I'm like, let me try it. I got two bags of that and then I needed something salty. So I picked up a bag of Popcorners white cheddar. I thought about getting cheddar popcorn, but I was like, you already have popcorn, so don't do that. Two sleeves of pistachios. I also did not know that, well, first of all, all Dollar Generals, not Dollar Generals, all Dollar Trees are not created equal. And the one that I went to had Martinelli's Rosé in glass bottles. Excuse me? And they call it Rosé because it's with fresh apples and cherries, so... I will be popping the top on one of these and putting it in my bougie glass for my movie night, which I don't know when I'm gonna do the movie night. Um, maybe in the next day or two, I don't know. Then I also saw some candy cane spoons. The only reason why I got this was for hot chocolate. I'm gonna be clear. I got a third Martinelli's just because I'm like, Martinelli's is already good. So you add some cherry juice in it, that might be hitting. <laughs> I also picked up three packs of peppermint sticks because I we love peppermints around here, okay? Turkey jerky for my movie night board. Chill. Two toothbrushes because I saw in my bathroom cubby the other day that I don't have any more like throwaway toothbrushes. Like I like to use these for like if I'm sick, like I wanna brush my teeth with a different toothbrush and throw it away when I'm done or for traveling. I prefer the ones that fold, but honestly, these are good for travel brushes too. I also had on my list to get this year for Christmas was some gift boxes and the gift wrap tape. 
For whatever reason, that Dollar Tree did not have like the standard gift wrap tape that comes in the purple package from Scotch. So I picked up some of this magic tape. I don't know if it's the equivalent or if this is something completely different, but on the back it says it's the original matte finish invisible tape. So I like this idea of matte tape better than like the shiny tape on gift wrap paper. I also bought some electrical tape. Ask me why? I legitimately cannot remember. I just feel like several weeks ago, I was like, girl, you need to get some electric. I know exactly why I bought this. Because on my arrow garden, if I do not plant all of the holes in the pods, they say to cover the holes. Some people use golf balls. I don't play golf, so I don't have those. And then some people recommend using electrical tape. That's the exact reason why I got this. The lights are on, the lights are on. Now, Kohl's was not coaling like I wanted Kohl's to coal for me. So I really didn't get much. First and foremost, when I walked in there, I immediately went to Sephora because I needed some new lip, lip chap, chapstick, lip gloss type situation because I was using the tube form of Aquaphor, but the last time I was in Target, I couldn't find it. So I got the, the twist up tube instead. That is not the same. Like on my lips, it felt like, you know like how when your lips are chapped and you put something on them, but it's like, it's not absorbing into your skin. It's almost like it's just sitting there and you can still feel like your lips chapped. That's what was going on. And it's been going on for the past couple of days. And I was just like, I, I need to find a substitute. So I got this one from Laneige because I love the balm that I use like in the morning and night after I brush my teeth or whatever but they have it in a squeezy tube version. This is the Lip Glowy Balm in Grapefruit. Can you even see that label from Laneige? It's a little pricey, like this little tiny dinky thing was $18, but if it works as well as the regular, like what do they call it, the sleeping mask, then I'm a little less upset about it. I'm gonna give this a try and see if this might be my new staple because for whatever reason, the Aquaphor in the squeezy tube has just been hard to find. Another thing that I picked up is a refill of Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I don't have a whole lot of experience with setting sprays, so I was asking the young lady at the counter like, okay, I see y'all have Charlotte Tilbury on sale. I think it was like $37 for two. And I was like, okay, have you used both? She was like, yes. I said, okay, which one is better? She was like, I like Urban Decay better. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna one up you. Which Urban Decay do you like better? The All Nighter or the D Slick? And she was like, this is still GOAT. Now I've used two travel ones of this and I don't see any issue with this. I think it actually does help my makeup stay on. I do still powder, so I can't attest to whether or not it like helps you stay matte or whatnot, but I was like, well, since I've gone through two travel ones, I might as well get the full size. This was also $38. So I'm just like, why? You know, why? Like, can I make this? <laughs> that's really my question. Like, can I make it? So yeah, that's what we spent our money on today. Um, I'm about to make dinner. I'm feeling like chicken noodle soup tonight. Although I have been promised um, food from a holiday party. So if I make this soup, I may not eat it tonight. I may eat it tomorrow, which that qualifies as something that I could thank my future self for if I just go on and make it tonight. So uh, yeah, let me put this stuff up and let me make this soup. It's 10 a.m. and guess who's just now eating breakfast? <laughs> I play too much. I really do. Not for real though. On top of me playing too much, I just feel like my body has been craving better for me food and the easiest entry point for me is breakfast, period. So this morning I am working with eggs with spinach and toast seasoned with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. 
and the spinach actually came from a frozen bag of chopped spinach that I just popped in the microwave. And so I have that where I can add it to eggs over the next couple of days, or I could like drop a spoonful or two or three inside of that um, chicken noodle soup that I made because chopped greens lend themselves very well to soup. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll leave the house. Ciao. I've been sitting in the car shopping on Amazon. <laughs> store for a minute we're about to run up in Ulta do you know why because let me tell you how last night while I was minding my business I done found a coupon that I completely forgot about I got it in the mail several weeks ago and I put it on the table and just forgot about it look what this say 20% off your entire qualifying purchase you know what that means right if they have that urban decay setting powder in here I'm about to go in and get my 20% off of that. Uh, I don't believe they carry Laneige, so I can't get a second tube of, um, I keep wanting to call it lip chat, but that is not the word, girl. <laughs> they don't carry Laneige, so I can't get a second tube of that um, lip gloss, but I will be redeeming that for some setting spray, so I could just return the other one at Sephora because honestly, I think I need to run into the mall. If not today, maybe tomorrow and what else um i might see if they have another refill of my travel spray because i'm running low on by the you know what ulta don't carry that they don't carry that never mind um i guess we're just going in here for setting spray <laughs> wait it's 47 47 mm -hmm. okay how long does a trim usually take not that long not that long yeah. well, I can okay get you in right now if you want to okay well i don't have time right now okay. but i'm gonna do one more press before i like Okay. Call it for a few months, and then when I do that next one, I will come in here. Well, let me give can I get card. your card? Yes. yes. <laughs> Girl, Thank call, you so much. Appointment you can do, or you can do it online. Okay, and I can request your name. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Yes, well, thank you so What's much, Janetta. Janetta. Okay. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Ooh, what's this? Okay, look. I did get that setting spray for twenty percent off, but then I was like, it's a one-time use coupon. Oh, uh, what else do you need? Y'all remember how I was talking about how I feel like I have bags underneath my eyes? Like, oh my gosh. This nail just broke and stabbed me in the cheek. Ow. Also, you know what? I'm about to show you. Look at these nails and these cuticles. Like, that last gel manicure, why am I still paying for that so far down the road? So I went in there and I did end up getting the setting spray for 20% off, which actually made it $28.80 after I spent $36 on one yesterday. But then I started looking around and I was like, eye cream, why not an eye cream? And I don't know nothing about no eye cream. So I just went with the same brand as my regular daily um, face wash and moisturizer. And I feel like this is a good entry point. It was $20 though. And as light as this box, $20. $20 with the coupon where we at okay it's better with the coup oh it's 25% off of this okay so with the coupon it was $11.99 which I can live with especially as just like an entry point because am I supposed to use this day and night yes use alone or under makeup twice a day so I'm gonna have to take a picture of what my eyes look like and then report back because I know eye cream works, but I don't know what ingredients need to be in eye cream in order for it to work. But I'm gonna fix my nail and then um, we're definitely going to TJ Maxx after this because it's already 1141 and I'm playing the same game that I was playing yesterday. I'm gonna be in there with the people working a half a day, the people that didn't decide to work today at all, and the people who are trying to shop on their lunch break. Okay, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Thank you. This girl is out here in a tank top. It's, it's, it's not hot. Um, what? <laughs> Honestly, oh my gosh, these are the most adorable things I've ever seen. Why don't they make smaller bottles of these? TJ Maxx number two. Let's get it. this year. Just 
so there aren't any accidents. So I think I'm just going to make myself some dinner. Uh, might do some editing, might do some reading. I'm not really sure. I'm not feeling super tired, but like I can lay down kind of thing. My plan is to look online at the department stores because also I have no interest in going back inside the mall and I'll only go back to the mall if I can actually pick up something that I bought online. So I'm gonna do some digging around on all of like the department store websites. So like Nordstrom, Macy's, Dillard's. So that is the plan. And honestly, if I don't, I would like to find those last two items, but if I don't find them, I think it'll be fine because like no cap, uh, Valentine's Day is like just a few short weeks after Christmas anyway, so I could just save those two gifts as something for the future. But yeah, that's how I'm probably going to end up spending the rest of my night because I just kind of need to chill. I was out for a long period of all time today and I kind of just want to like, you know, be to myself and my, like make a little cocoon on the couch and be to myself for a little while. So I will probably see you guys in the morning. I'm 100% aware that I literally was on here yesterday talking about ooh, how my body just wanted to eat better for me food and my entry point is breakfast. Trust me, I know, but I think today warrants uh, something a little bit different. So let's make breakfast. All right, so why all the fuss? I mean, sprinkles in my pancakes this morning, like, am I doing a lot? Uh, I don't think so, because this morning, I woke up to a notification on my phone that this channel has hit a thousand subscribers! <laughs> I cannot believe, you guys! We have hit a thousand subscribers, and the second that notification came through, I tried to swipe it away because a couple of y'all have been leaving comments like, oh my gosh, you're so close. But in my mind, I didn't want to be like obsessive about it. So I was just like, look girl, make this deal with yourself. You are not going to check any single analytic or anything until Christmas morning. So any other time that I've been uploading throughout December, I have been trying my very hardest to completely avoid the creator dashboard because that will show you like your recent subscriber count and all that stuff. And instead, like, I've been covering my screen with my hand. I've been covering the top half of my phone when I'm, you know, making sure that I'm in YouTube studio to reply to comments that I'm not clicking on the wrong thing. And this morning, I just, I couldn't avoid it because it came through and the very first word was congratulations. So actually up till this point, I haven't even checked anything. So. I feel like since we're in this together and this channel would not have grown without y'all support, like first and foremost, um, I just want to say thank you to every single one of you that has subscribed to this channel, left a comment, left a like, left a plus one thumbs up on a comment, sent me an email, like all of it. Like I am so grateful and my heart is so full because like the growth of this channel would not be possible without either of y'all's viewership. And it's also just another opportunity in my life that I've proved to myself that I can do hard things. So I really just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. And baby, we made it, <laughs> we made it. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just so excited and all over the place and words are just extremely hard. So like for the millionth and billionth time, because I just can't stop saying it, thank you, I appreciate you, and it's only up from here. So what we're about to do now is take a peek into my YouTube analytics page, because up until this point, like 
I just saw the notification and just kept on with my morning. Like I saw the word congratulations, swiped that thing so hard and was just like, oh, what? <laughs> and I was like, okay, look, before you get too excited and caught up, girl, get your chores done, okay? So I did do some laundry, busted out some dishes, you know, picked up stuff around my room and then was like, you know what? Today, breakfast needs to be an occasion, hence the sprinkle pancakes. So let me figure out how to screen record real quick because like we should be doing this together. You know what I mean? Okay, so I am going to navigate to the dashboard. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, YouTube dashboard right now is saying that not only do we have a thousand subscribers in this community, we have a thousand and thirteen. Like, what is going on here? This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, Ugh, words are so hard. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, whoa, okay. Um, this banner, a uh, way to go. You're ready to tap into revenue sharing from ads and YouTube premium. Unlock access to even more benefits of the YouTube partner program as you continue to grow and build your community. Unlock now. Where am I going? Is this a, oh my gosh. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna take a second and set this up, but based off of what I know, Today is gonna to be day one of my channel being able to earn revenue from YouTube ads. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. <laughs> this is unreal. Like, of course, hard work pays off, but what? <laughs> this is so wild. Okay, um, I, need to, I need to like calm myself down. Holy moly. Okay, I'm gonna do a little poking around, figure out what exactly I need to do here, if anything and then get in a little bit of editing time because like I wanted to post a video today and coincidentally it lines up on the day that we've reached a thousand subscribers. So that is just mind blowing. And then I need to finish my laundry and like do some stuff around here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take a beat and get some of this stuff done and then I will catch up with y'all later. Girl, we did it! <laughs> it is dumb late right now. That video took a little bit longer than I was anticipating to finish up, but it's done. It's uploading while I am out. I needed to do three things, one of which I've already done. I went to the package locker to get stuff that Amazon delivered, and now I'm en route to CVS because I need some more toner, and I feel like I have a coupon for 30% off. And I'm just hoping that they have the toner in stock because for whatever reason, Pixie Glow Tonic has been so hard to find at these CVS's, at these Ulta's, at these Target's. Uh, and then the third thing, I just need to swoop by Costco real quick to pick up some frozen fruit. I thought about like doing that tomorrow with a grocery run, but like I'm not even fully convinced that I'm gonna do a grocery run tomorrow, so. I might as well as just run through Costco while I'm out, just in case I don't feel like putting on real pants tomorrow. My car also smells like boiled eggs right now because I pulled out two boiled eggs from the fridge and ate them on my way to CVS and forgot to take the napkin out. Also because I was starving. Also because, let's be very clear about how this day started. The first time y'all saw me, I was in the kitchen making pancakes. But let me tell you how that was at like 12.30, 1 o'clock. <laughs> I woke up with a headache and did not get out of bed until like maybe 10.30. And then started moving about the cabin extremely slow, trying to get chores done. And then I started making breakfast. So this day all around is just not my usual Friday. And I don't know what to do. <laughs> all right, somebody don't want me to have smooth skin on my face because it ain't here either. It should be right here. I don't like these two. Well, I'm not really sure what to do about this because that's my holy grail toner. Yeah, like I don't have a backup toner, so uh, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here exactly. That's super annoying. Like I could go to a third CBS, but like I'm, I'm not about to do that. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna just go to Costco, then go home. Touch the continue button if finished. So I guess I should start winding down for the night. I mean, this day has happened so quickly. 100% that has to do with the fact that I stayed in bed so late this morning. But my head doesn't hurt now, so I mean, what's done is done. I can't be too upset about that. But it also just feels like time evaporated into the abyss today. It is 8 o'clock already, and I'm like, girl, what did you do today? <laughs> but it's fine. Um, I have some laundry to fold. Uh, I need to check and see if my video has finished uploading because I did set it to go when I left and because it's a shorter one it was only slated to take like an hour which by the way fun fact my videos usually take like two hours to upload and then after they upload it's usually an additional hour after that in order for HD to process and I mean, it's got to be because my internet is absolutely terrible. Um, but it doesn't feel terrible when I'm like watching shows because it never lags or anything. But that upload speed is get oh. So I'm going to check on that. Uh, if all is good with that, I'm going to see if my eyes will stay open long enough to create the thumbnail because I possibly could post it tonight instead of posting it tomorrow. Because technically the video is uploaded. It just, you know, needs a thumbnail and um, the description box stuff to be filled out. I am hungry, but I also don't really want to eat that soup that I made because I didn't pull it off the heat fast enough. So the noodles got soggy and like that is the worst. But I don't want to waste it. So I think I'm just going to suck it up and eat the soup anyway. Oh, and in lieu of finding my toner at CVS, I ended up picking up another pack of Mighty Patches for dark spots. I've been using these off and on for the past couple of months, and I think they work. I just think that they're dumb expensive. All that to say, I think I'm only going to buy these when I feel like a dark spot needs just a little bit of extra help. Anytime I have a breakout, every one of them doesn't necessarily take forever for the dark spot to go away. But there are some that just proved themselves to be resistant to my usual methods. And I think I may explore using these for that. So specifically this one on my chin uh, needs a little bit of help. And then also this one on my forehead. I don't even know if you can see it. Like right there. That's been there for a few weeks. And it should have been gone already. So I'm going to add another one up here. And for these, you're only supposed to use them every other day. So today's Friday. I'll use another one Sunday and then check and see how the progress is going. Even though they have like micro darts on them, they really don't hurt. Like it does feel like something is poking you in the face, but it's fine. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, this has been quite a week. I feel like so many things happened in this week and it's only Friday. Like I don't know. It's maybe it's weird just because I only worked the first two days and was off the last three. So like my rhythm has been just a little bit disrupted, but needless to say, we made it to another Friday. So thank you guys so very much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one.